Hey guys, it's me Katie and welcome to my world. Hang on a second. What up K-Babes? It's me Katie and welcome to my world. So, y'all do not know what K-Babes are. Obviously, by how I said that, that it is you guys. Um, I know I kept going back and forth on what I wanted to call you guys, but it is K-Babes. And hopefully you can't tell, but if you can, I'm recording on my phone. Um, that circle thing is a light. It doesn't really help because I'm in front of a big light. Ignore my eyebrow. I, I was supposed to say I was getting done. No, I was doing them and I messed up. And now I look like I tried to put a line through. I did not do that. Today, what we're going to do is simple guess simple for me but simple um softball hairstyles um I'll show you what I normally wear and then ones that I think are really cute to wear so let's get started so all you're gonna need today for these hairstyles are um is a hair tie a brush and I will be using elastics Ooh, that had a hair in it these little baby elastics um, for um, like well, I'm just to try to lie. for some of them, but I will tell you how you can use them um, without the little hair ties, the little elastics. But if you're wondering where you can get them, you can get them at Dollar General, Walmart, or Target. So. I would guess they would be there. I got mine at Dollar General, so I know they're there. And you can get colored kinds, black kind, the black kind, and clear. Um, so let's get on with this video. So all, I love what I need to say. So this hairstyle is what I normally wear. Um, but I want to try to stop wearing them, wearing it like this. I want to wear it. I'll tell you which one I want to wear tomorrow because I have a game. And shout out to my coach for taking me, A, um, because my parents are both working and they can't take me. So, um, so this is just a high ponytail. So all I do is just flip my hair out. And I'll try to show you. I'm a short person. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see it all. Is you brush it out. So, and then grab the hair, and it's gonna look very crazy and light. As you can tell, that won't go down for some reason. But this is the hairstyle. This is how I normally wear it. Okay, so all these next ones are gonna be low ponytails. You can see my hair. Oh, that's so amazing. <laughs> um, so this next one we're gonna do is just a simple low ponytail. What I like to do, so I don't look like an egg. Um, I keep my part how it is, and I just take it behind like that and just brush it. Sorry if I'm not in front. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. And then, okay. and then I'll just tie it up. And then, just pull hair. And now, I wouldn't normally do that big of a piece, but it's okay, I guess. So that's just what it is, a regular low ponytail. So the rest of this video, how's that, is going to be with low ponytails. So the next one, you're going to need these, the little elastics. If you don't have them, you can use the hair ties. I don't know how good they look with hair ties, but I would think that it would look fine. Um, what you're going to do just take the hair tie and I always like starting from the bottom for some reason 
and I would just since my hair is not as long as some um I would just go like that much up but if you have really long hair like to your butt you could go like two to three inches up so and plus if you're like a pitcher um I really suggest this hairstyle because um I'll show you but it doesn't move around it's like really stiff so okay so that's what it looks like that one's a little bigger but it's okay it's just all the way down and it stays very still so this is a really good one so if you're like pitching it's not going to move at all so this next one can do it um so let's go so this next one all it's gonna be is you're braiding the ponytail the reason why i said i don't know if i can do it is i'm not good at braiding down so all i'm gonna do is braid to the side and it's gonna look weird and not want to go to the back of my head or like swing around like that but if i were going to do this i'd most likely have my mom braid the ponytail because my mom's cool and she likes, she would braid my bony tail, so peeps to my mom. So let's braid this thing. So if you don't know how to braid, you can look it up on YouTube. I really don't want to explain it, but you can watch this really slowly if you want to know how to braid. And the reason why I say I probably won't want to swing back to the back of my head is the way you braid, whichever way you're gonna braid your pony or your braids, it's gonna wanna stay in that way. And I'm gonna have a lot left because why not? So my laundry text to me. It's twisted the back. Hey, if Trina went to the back, I could feel I can feel it trying to try to sneak over there but I'm just gonna pull it a little bit because I think those braids are cute. Hey it does kind of want to stay but it's a little twisted. It's okay because it's how I braided it but that's the next one. It also doesn't move around as much but the other hairstyle I would think is better if you don't want your ponytail moving around because this one still moves a little bit see. So the next one is a little bit more complicated but we shall do it. <laughs> Take three off this here, dude. I'm not watching myself in the mirror on what I'm doing. So, hang on, I'm gonna try to, hopefully the pole, <laughs> the pole might get in the way. Okay. Ooh, oh crap. Okay, so this hairdo is two braids on both sides, back into a ponytail. Let's go. <laughs> so, Normally what I would think people would do, do I need okay. um, is would go like that, but it's easier for me to just go like this and braid. So let's get it. Why is this still on? It's not even attached to my phone. I was just wasting battery. Okay, maybe that's not a good thing. So what I'm gonna do is braid this normally twice. And then you're always going to add to this front piece closest to your face with the hair. And it's not a French braid, so you're not adding to the other piece closest to your head. That makes any sense if you know how to French braid. And always try to pull it back so when you go to wrap it around, it won't look weird. I've learned that over the years of doing my hair. So 
some little twisted looking, but I think we'll be fine. And if you like your hair to look really nice, if you're just watching this for not a softball, if you want your hair to look real nice and softball, what you do? <laughs> I know these are nice hair looks, but they're gonna just, they're gonna get ruined. If you're a new softball player, they're gonna get ruined. So it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And most of the time, they're probably gonna be coming. Oh, what happened? <laughs> and again, I'll show you what you'll have to do if you don't have elastics. And I might, as, I might do it too, but. Before I start what I was going to say in this voiceover, if I scream or my voice gets a little weird, it's because it's 4th of July, happy 4th of July by the way, and there's fireworks going off around me right now. But what I was going to say was I'm going to mute this um, clip and um, speed it up because you're doing the same thing you did um with the other side so happy fourth of july k babes and be safe and i hope you had a good fourth of july okay now that both sets are done and i look like the girl from zoe 101 queen i think her name but um what we're gonna do now is pull the back up and try to get hairs out of that are not supposed to be in the braids ponytail. Okay, it's future Katie again. Um, so I'm going to mute this and speed it up. Um, there'll be a part where my hair goes weird, and you probably just saw it. Um, and just bobby pin that up, and you'll be good, girl. it's tangly so if you don't have elastics your next step is going to be so if you have like the big o it look it look weird if you keep the braids in i think personally it looks weird if you keep the braids in anyways so just pretend like i'm taking a big ponytail out like normal ponytail <laughs> this is gonna kill me and you'll just take it out and unbraid it like nothing's there and personally I think it looks cool because it's just like is that twisted what happened okay and it's just like okay I do not know what happened but this look looks so bad with all those bumps when I turned around I don't know what happened when I did this the first time it looked really cute but just don't have those little crazy bumps and you'll be fine. <laughs> oh gosh, that, oh lord. <laughs> okay, so that's all the hair styles that I would do or I know to do. Today, do you see that? Rude. <laughs> For today, I hope you enjoyed this, K-Babes. Um... If you did, please give a big thumbs up. If you didn't, still give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below more things you want to see me do. Um, softball related or not. Um, and make sure you subscribe. Sorry, my mom texted me again. <laughs> make sure you subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell. I'm newly to the notification bell squad. I usually don't want my phone blowing up with notifications. But it's actually very helpful and... I love it, kind of. I shouldn't say that because I'm telling you to do it. But I love it. And you guys should do it as well because I never know when I'm going to upload because it's me. Um, I'm hoping that I'll do a Get Ready With Me softball edition tomorrow. Um, I would love to show you guys um, me hitting and fielding and stuff. But how I said, um, my coach is taking me tomorrow because my dad is not going to be able to take me and my mom works nights. So, dad, if you're watching this, it's okay. I know you're feeling guilty about it. 
I love y'all. Even I'm talking to my mom too now. I love y'all and thanks for letting me play softball. Peace.